Hey guys, what's happening? So, I was going through my old uh, computer stuff and I found this box of um, old like CD burners and like DVD burners and stuff I just want to get rid of. But before I got rid of it, um, I wanted to remove the laser diode. So these are actually, uh, I mean, these, these are pretty powerful little laser diodes you can get out of here. Um, they can do some cutting. Um, I'll show you that. I'm going to extract one and we'll fire it up. But yeah, I had some upcoming projects I wanted to use some lasers with. And I didn't want to buy any. And I had these laying around. I'm going to throw them away anyway. So I figured I'd uh, show you how to extract them. So get a... If you're not familiar with the DVDs, I mean, this is an old technology. I mean, they don't really even sell computers anymore with these things. So, um, I first started messing with CD players <laughs> back in the 90s when I first started fixing computers. Well, I mean, I'd say it had just come out. Yeah, back then you actually had SCSI CD-ROMs. SCSI and IDE. Well, IDE wasn't really even out yet. So, alright, so a couple screws. Yeah, use a paper clip. In here, on these ones, this little hole right there. Uh, that brings it open. And the same thing with uh, these things right here. There's a little uh, spot for the, uh, typically like right there, near the button usually. And that will pop it open. Right. That just pops off. And this part should come off here. There's like a little side clip she's got. You have to get the front thing off before we can get this off. Yeah, I don't care. These things are being destroyed anyways. I kept a couple just in case I ever have to get anything from a CD-ROM. But I had about 10 of these things, so... And only a few more burners, so... Ah. There we go. All right. Couple screws. Cover up, and what I'm focusing on is right here. All right, so I got to get in there, get this PCB off here, and maybe I can get it without having to take the whole thing apart here. There it goes. Yeah, it's a little stepper motor in there. See that little, little lead screw? That's what brings it back and forth. And that's actually what this thing disconnected to. So in there is the actual laser diode ribbon cable. All right. So I'm gonna take this off here. Well, I need. Mean, well, it's tiny. I need mean, smaller Phillips. All right. So if you ever wondered how these little things work right here, I hope you can see that in the camera. You have a little lens right there, and there's actually a little like a mirror system that actually banks it banks the laser up into the actual through the lens and there's actually like a lens adjuster so I'm trying to find the, I'm thinking the laser di dials right there but uh, I'm gonna take it apart further to see for sure Isn't that crazy the little mirror system I hope you can see this on light I'm not sure I have enough light but that's actually a little focuser so the laser actually comes up through here and it banks off those little mirrors up through this. Alright, so I'm down to the laser diode right there. You can see there's another little mirror on top. Actually, that's more of like, I'm not sure if it's a focuser or where that is, but the laser diode is actually in there. In this particular one, it's really encased in there. So, this is definitely not the best one to use. Um, I can't tell if it's glued in there or what it is, but. Alright, so on this actual CD ROM DVD, this is a uh, DVD burner. Yeah, so that is the laser diode right there, right there. You can almost see like the little three, it's really small, but it's right there. So sorry, you see my mining rig here in the background. Um, so in that little, that little brass thing right there, that's the laser diode right there. It's in house and then this little, looks like a protector, I'm not sure if it's a focuser or what it is, but... All right, got another one out. Keep on going. Yeah, this Sony drive actually looks interesting. It might have two laser diodes. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at the part numbers on those things and see if I can figure out what those are. 
You know, actually, know what's really interesting is that I've actually seen six different ways now of uh, how these people manufacture them, and they're all different. So the way they actually bank their uh, lasers into the actual, uh, you know, the focuser, like they're all different. The different positions of the of the laser diode, they're all different. It's crazy. They're all came up with a different way of actually making this work. All right, so I have another one of these uh, with the dual laser, and I think I figured out what it was. You know, for a while they had this thing called light scribe technology, so you could burn the bottom of the DVD, you know, right to it. But at the same time, you could also like uh, create like a like a graphic on the front of it, on the top of the CD. So you could like label your CD via laser. So it looks like you have two laser diodes here. So I get that out. But yeah, it was it kind of throwing me off because I was like, there's two lasers with multiple mirrors. But yeah, I forgot about light scribe. So, all right, all right, there it is. I have a. I'm gonna send two volts this thing. I have a ground, obviously, a, and a positive. I'm gonna send this about two volts. Obviously, don't make sure you look. Don't look in the laser. I could blind you. There you go. See that right there in my hand? Yeah, you're not gonna get like an intense laser beam unless you have a focuser. So that's how you extract a laser out of an old CD-ROM. Pretty cool, huh?